everybody, here's a really exciting opportunity. Me, Omaze, and Adventure Drives have come together to offer you the potential to win an epic road trip across the Pacific Northwest in a 2020 C8 Corvette. Omaze will send you and a friend to Seattle to do the Adventure Drives road trip with me and my wife and Rob Ferretti and a bunch of our friends. I'll be in a Lamborghini. You're going to be set up in their brand new C8 Corvette. They're going to give you a thousand bucks for fuel, covering all the expenses, and we are going to drive together across the Pacific Northwest. It all benefits a great cause, Team Rubicon, which helps keep returning soldiers employed in disaster relief areas. I love this charity. It's a great cause. Go to omaze.com slash TST to enter or hit the link in the description where I've got a link for you right there. Very, very easy. Get on it, guys. Come on a road trip with me and Omaze in the new Corvette this summer. Now enjoy this video. Good morning, everybody. Well, these opportunities pop up out of nowhere sometimes, and with about a 12-hour advance notice, Porsche said that I could have this, the first Taycan 4S in the United States for 24 hours to do whatever I wanted. We've got pretty empty roads and nothing but time. Me and Hannah are gonna take a little drive. All right, everybody. This is my lovely wife, Hannah, if you've not met her. And we are off. This is the Taycan 4S. It's uh, the slow one, but that still means zero to 60 in under four seconds, says Porsche. It's still over 500 horsepower. Uh, but the Taycan 4S comes in two flavors. Flavor one, small battery. Flavor two, big battery. The small battery is not in the US press fleet yet. So this is the big battery. So that pretty much means this is the range model. I just left an Amer uh, Electrify America station. Uh, it took about 50 minutes to charge this thing from 30% to all the way full, 100%. It's now showing 258 miles of range. And uh, so that means we're gonna try and go to Palm Springs and back uh, on one charge. Our friend Sarah, stunt driver Sarah, who uh, you've seen on our podcast, lives in Palm Springs and uh, frankly her house is as good a destination as any so because this would be a boring drive if we did all three hours of it you know we'll give you the highlights we'll give you the montage the road trip tropes the windmills uh the cars on the highway some fun music maybe a couple of quips here and there time lapses and that's it <laughs> miles from our destination we are more efficient than the car originally thought we would be uh, with the cruise control set at 70 miles an hour uh, doing absolutely nothing else it seems like the estimated range is around 275 miles although we've hit a uh, uh, basically a standstill traffic jam so here we are going between zero and three with our air conditioning on we'll have to factor this in somehow. Baby, Palm Springs. That's right. The arrival. We have made it. We are uh, a mile from our destination. We've traveled 123 miles. Uh, it said 257 when we left and it now indicates 162. So it's indicated only, what, 95 miles of use, even though we've traveled almost 125 miles. That's a pretty good sign. Yeah, and we stopped in traffic. And we got stopped in traffic, and we noted that we were driving into like a 40 mile an hour headwind on the way out here. So we're gonna wave at Sarah through her window. Uh, and then turn around and go back to Los Angeles. <laughs> Social distancing. Let's go home. 
All right, well, hopefully, now that we're connected. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. Necessary quick charging stations were added. What? It said you can't reach it. In 900 feet, turn right at the end of the road. Get out of here. Turn right. Can you just try and tell me? Right now, the car says I have 159 miles of range. Our destination is 121 miles away. It's a pretty big differential. It's 40 miles. But it's, it says we won't make it and we have to stop and charge. I'm going to override that decision by Porsche. We're going to drive straight and we're not going to charge. I hope it doesn't try and stop me like all over the place, right? It said like necessary charging stations were added so maybe it'll see. I mean, the math is good here. 121 to go, 157 in the tank. How it, hard is that? But it may, it, I have to assume that the software is, is trying you. to save you from being stranded. Probably. You know, so it's like the gas light would it probably, come on. It should, it's a good point. That's a good point. It is a gas light. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, this won't get excited until the very end, so we'll probably have to overlay some more trucks and uh, wind vanes. Uh, desert shots and random highway here and uh, we'll see you when we start sweating. I woke my wife up from a nap for this so we're gonna make it good. Uh, the, the fact is our challenge wasn't hard enough and this car is very efficient and so rather than just driving straight from Mar Vista where we started to Palm Springs and back We've decided to add some miles, turning left to go south towards uh, uh, Seal Beach and Garden Grove before heading uh, back west uh, where we came from. Uh, how's the ride with your nap? Really smooth. Good. <laughs> uh, Especially one, the part when you brake really hard. Oh, uh, I had to avoid a mattress in the road. That's a very LA thing to do. Yeah. And the brakes were good, and I didn't hit the yeah, mattress. Yeah, no, it was bad. One thing to note, for the first time in our trip, consider the distance we've traveled and the range remaining those numbers combined exceed 300 miles so whereas the computer said 257 estimated range when we started uh, after driving it for 222 miles it's now saying no no you're you could actually get to 300 if you kept going so we're gonna see if we can get a little closer last u-turn Southward, 22 miles of range, traveled 266 miles, but it's, there's some downhill going back. Alrighty then. So, five hours of driving. In the Taycan 4S, we covered 276.2 miles and we have an indicated range of 18 miles left. Now, as Hannah will tell you, I didn't try. I got on the highway, I set the cruise at 70, we had the air conditioning on, the cooled seats on, I was running the Valentine 1, charging phones, literally didn't try, right? If I really tried hypermile, less air conditioning, whatever, this is a 300 mile car for sure. As it is, 294 is what we've tested it at without trying. So, uh, pretty good. My back doesn't hurt. Yay!